Eruption taking on Clyde. Now, not only does the winner move on to the semifinals, the winner also has to fix their dryer in their apartment because the loser is apparently going to be too depressed <laughs> to do the work. Oh, I thought the winner was going to have to take all the cups out of all the bedrooms and take no, them No, no, this is a sink. real thing. I was talking to them about this earlier this morning. <laughs> Their dryer broke yesterday, and they, they were like, laundry? whoever wins has to Five, fix the dryer four, because the other one three, will be too depressed. Two, so all right, one, let's go to the food. Right, food. Robots Away fight. we go. Very fast start from Clyde. Clyde has such an effective flamethrower. We said again and again, this is the OG effective flamethrower here at NHRL. They really brought it to uh, uh, into the public light. Right now, they are getting thrown about the event. Ryan Boxel on eruption here, this very aggressive egg beater vert is trying to get under Clyde, trying to pop Clyde in the air just like that and trying to stay away from the front of the robot. It's got some pretty thick metal forks there that uh, you just really don't want to go crashing into if you're a vert. Now, now there's a lot of juicy bits on Clyde. There absolutely are, but that is some of the toughest TPU in the competition. I don't know if it's a special grade or what, but the plastic they use seems to repel hits so well. Now, Eruption is consistently getting under Clyde here. Brian Boxel, I'm sure, is very happy with his performance. 60 seconds down. He's got to stay alive for another two minutes here. This is extra tough. You can see the forks on Clyde have been bent up, so they're not going to win those pushing matches. They are going to lose every single time, but they can stay aggressive. They can keep their flame on their opponent, and they're going to hope that that's enough to wear down Eruption. Oh, and here we go. The first error here for Brian Boxel on Eruption, getting caught momentarily, but again, Resetting himself, sending Clyde back into the sky. It's such a stable robot, and the Boxels are so good at keeping it stable, even in the worst case scenario. Now this is a fresh plywood floor here, and uh, it's really working to Eruption's advantage. They're able to stay absolutely planted to the floor with these ground shaving forks. Wow, 60 seconds left here Ooh. in this fight, and oh. Eruption stuck up against the rail. Now is the moment Clyde needs to strike, keep it down. No, they were unable oh. to capitalize, and now they're a hat. A flaming hat, Ricky. Now you can hear uh, Brian that. has turned up the weapon. It's running even faster. Yeah, but You've their, weapon, wonder why. Look, their weapon, I don't know if it's taking away from it or if they're just playing safe, but their drive is not up to speed at the same caliber, it seems like, or at the very least, it's intermittent. 30 seconds left in the fight, and there it is again. The drive on Eruption jammed up. I don't like that, Ricky. Well, I bet that Glenn Boxel likes it, or Brian Boxel likes it even less. Are they stuck oh, on look, some there it is. Wow. This is going to be hit or miss, but Another couple of seconds. Yes, this will be going to the judges. Oh, but Clyde is high centered and then smacked by Eruption. This is going to be going to the judges. What a fight. Look at the glow on their faces. Brian, we have a judge's decision. Please say me. <laughs>